All right, welcome everybody to round three. We've got a pair of 2-0 players here going at it. We've got Sleffer on the bottom of your screen. That at any cost matchup was just too fun. We had to go back and watch it again. So we've got Sleffer at the bottom of your screen, Old Rich up at the top. Let's see if the uh, Fire Aggro deck is going to be any better. I have a feeling the answer is no. <laughs> I have a feeling just my understanding of how these decks work is that I feel like this is going to be quite a good matchup for the at any yeah. cost deck. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Old Rich. I'm sorry, we got it wrong. Old Rich was not the fire. They were the they were the Shadow Aggro one. So my apologies. I said Mono Fire. That was uh, that was the other player we watched. That was WSG Ron. This is the right. Elm Discard Aggro deck. Still, I still think it's the same thing. But yeah, I mean, I think a Hailstorm is really just going to blow up Old Rich's board until they get, um, you know, until they get Shoulder Edger up. All right, Old Rich starting off with Faceless One. But yeah, Sleffer has a lot of Vara's favors, snowballs, hailstorms. I guess the only thing that's good for Old Rich is that makes their Shadow Dredgers a little bit better, but or their Shoal Dredgers a little bit better. But yeah, Sleffer being able to take out all the units two for one, three for ones is going to be probably too much value. But that's why you play the game. We'll have to see how it plays out. I mean, I think, like, I feel like it goes, you know, that advantage would be to Sleffer just because they have so much removal, you know, with Vara's Favor, Hailstorms, Annihilates. It's kind of a waiting game that they have to do. Just wait and wait and wait until you draw yeah. at any cost. We have shoulder edgers down to five costs already, so it's that's good. All right, well, Shadowlands guide gonna come back and play that spite feeder again. It's an interesting deck. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm fully bought in. It seems like it's got some some good synergies and a lot of the cards play together. I'm just. Well, we what we've seen so far today in the matchups we've seen, it just seems like you got pretty smashed by Hurukira, and we'll have to see how it plays against some of the slower control decks as well. Yeah. Here comes some cheap shoulder edges, though. A pair of seven sixes is pretty good. Leopard does have an Annihilate to take care of at least one of them, and then we've got Transposes. Is there anything in the market that Sleffer can grab? Cover from the Storm, Honor of Claws, Silverblade Menace, Stealth Strike, and Turn to Seed. Turn to Seed would be interesting here. Uh, Stealth Strike needs six Shadow Influence to be deadly, and Sleffer's pretty close to that. I mean, I don't think you wait, right, to... No, I, I think it'd be too slow to wait, right? You'd have to take 14... Eh, maybe. Take 14, uh, that goes to nine. That seems like a lot, but... But you could Either. use your life Either. as a resource. Either. Yeah, go down to nine, grab turn to seed. I mean, I guess the thing that you need to worry about then would be, so if you turn to seed, shoulder sh dredger, then you have dark purveyor that you would need to worry about, really, mm -hmm. or death watcher. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I guess you could actually get both here, too. You could get the... Turn to seed, you could also get cover from the storm if you wanted. And now that, that blood letter is a bit four or five is gonna hit pretty hard too. I guess we're gonna annihilate that. Yeah. And then turn to see the shoal dredgers. That should buy Slef for a bit of time. And this is actually gonna work really well because that's gonna make those O2s, and then if old Rich plays another couple units here. Yeah, but as you said, Dark Purveyor off the top, that's nine. And that's Oh, but Old Rich doesn't have fourth uh, power. Uh, oh no! Rough. Oh wow, had it, but didn't have well, the fourth maybe, power. Maybe, maybe Sluffer, maybe Sluffer just decides not to hailstorm. I mean, oh, if Sluffer decided, yeah, Sluffer's gonna yeah. go, gonna do it. But wow, yeah, Old Rich had the win and was one power short. That's so unfortunate. You know, we did. I did comment last time, I think, that 
old rich was stuck on power. And, you know, when you don't, you've got 46 units, 46 units and four hunting, hunting screams and 25 power. So you're really cheating on power, right? You're, yeah. You have no card draw other than Gust Rider, right? All right, here's Haunting Scream. So this is going to be a lot of damage as well because Old Rich can cast the Haunting Scream. Can't the, those the turn to the uh, Shoal Judges are turned to seed now, so you can't do that. But you could get back a Ooh. Death Watcher. You get back a Dark oh. Purveyor. Dark Purveyor is just lethal, right? You Haunting Scream the Dark Purveyor and you pump up something else. Well, Sluffer does have an Annihilate, so... Right, but like I you think would... the Dark Purveyor plus Bloodseeker, and then you pump up the Shadowlands Guide, means that two of them are going to hit regardless. Uh... See, this way, I think it only does seven, which is still yeah. great. I think that was a Dark Purveyor lethal, because you could pump up yeah. the Shadowlands Guide, make it ten, and then... 10, 4, 5, you can only kill one. Yeah, I think Does you're that right. only cost enough? Hmm. It does have lifesteal, so you gain 3 and go to 4. But that doesn't Still keep you alive. Still a 4 in the crackback, right? So you can like... transpose Stealth Strike. That would do it. No, that doesn't do it. Yeah. Yep. That's just it. Yeah, old Rich is gonna take that one. Well, that was close. It was close, close yeah. Alright, let's take a look at old Rich's deck again while they're getting ready for game two. Yeah, I think, you know, it's got forty six units. <laughs> like I'm not sure you can have any more. Yeah. Uh forty six units and four haunting screams. So I guess it's not not really that surprising that you'd you'd be stuck on power maybe. But I guess it didn't end up mattering then. Yeah, it didn't it didn't seem to matter. Like a three power and you know really had basically lethal three turns in a row, right? <laughs> right. All right, so Old Rich taking game number one. Game two here. Looks like Sleffer Captain Exploit strategized Davia Hand. Seems decent, right? Not bad. I think Old Rich definitely has to mulligan. Old Rich going to take a I mulligan. Now you've got four power, Gust Rider, Smuggler, and Spite Feeder. I almost feel like you have to keep a four power hand with yeah. this deck. It's better than six for sure. I mean, just based on how power hungry they've been. Strategize, going to see Forbidden Research. Get a free card oh. off that Jotun Hurler. I love strategizing into a Jotun Hurler and just tossing the body and just getting basically a free snowball. Great. Snowballs are fun. Shoal Dredger the draw for Old Rich. Cost eight right now, but presumably going to go down. Discarding a faceless one. Get some value from that. <laughs> It's funny, you get the value, but it's a, it's a weird trade-off because you get a free 2-1, which is great, yeah. except for the fact that <laughs> except for the fact that you kind of want the unit in the void for the Shoal Treasure. <laughs> right, right. So there's that, and also um, the uh, Shadowlands, the Shadowlands guide. guide. Yeah. I got... It would be interesting, speaking of making up hypothetical cards, which we, we like doing, it would be interesting if this was if those were May abilities and you had the option to in what situations you would choose to <laughs> you would choose to not play them. I think it's probably in most cases probably still better to get the free unit. But yeah, there might be situations where if you had a choice, you would you would not want to do that just to keep units in the void. But it's interesting. Yeah. Not not a choice though. Eternal's all about streamlining the game, which I'm very thankful for. So we're not <laughs> we're not stopping every time one of those choices comes up. Mm, absolutely hate stops. 
So left we're going to exploit and is going to plunder away to get a second primal because they have forbidden research and only one primal. So now this opens up that avenue for them. Left we're going to snowball away the faceless one. The old rich kind of got the value anyway. Got the 2 1, ate a snowball, and got it in the void anyway. <laughs> right. Annihilate the draw here. This is an interesting turn for Sleffer because they could annihilate the 5 5, which presumably is going to get bigger next turn, but you also have Forbidden Research. So Sleffer's going to wait till the last possible moment to decide what they're going to do here. I think you probably want to take a Forbidden Research turn here if you can afford to. We'll have to see. That's now 9 10. That's now a 10 Zero. 10. No, I think you have to kill uh, it, right? 11, 12, 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely have to kill it at this point, right? You can now... Oh, the, uh, actually, so Old Rich, interesting. I would have waited on that Shoal Dredger, but yeah, now Sleffer probably wouldn't have mattered. Sleffer was probably going to kill it anyway, but once you play the Shoal Dredger out, yeah, snap both Annihilates. Uh, probably didn't matter, but... Oh, you know, I, I think Sleffer is under pressure unless they can... Find a hailstorm, or yeah, it's not oh, much battle at the gates. That's like the worst possible time to draw a battle at the gates. <laughs> yeah, and Slapper, look, it's so flooded. Just absolutely nothing going on here. Oh, there's uh, a hailstorm. Yeah. I'm gonna keep that on yeah, top. Okay, yeah. so that's not gonna kill the dark water vines, but it will kill everything else. Although Old Rich can Shadowlands guy back, I believe that Shoal Dredger is a zero cost. And then this Umbrant, yeah. So I think yeah. you can get this Shoal Dredger back with Shadowlands guide. That's so that sweet. is not going to get hit by Hailstorm. Still got to do it though. So Sleffer can kill everything except for the Darkwater Vines and the Shoal Dredger. So that's going to be nine mm -hmm. damage coming in next turn. Plus, then they get to play. Um, they get to play the invasive species again, right? Yeah, right. They get to play invasive species again. That's true. Face this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna put Sleffer down to three, and Sleffer's in trouble again. Hey, this found deck wow. putting up some wins tonight. I think it's like it's the underdog. Uh, like, I keep thinking, oh, I can't. It's not going to win. And it, it is. <laughs> All right, Sleffer's going to need something here, though, because they're dead to the Shoal Dredger, so they're going to have to do a blind exploit for a blind treasure trove to try and draw something three or less. Uh, oh, it was so close, but that's not uh, going to uh, do it because the Shoal Dredger is exact season seven. Uh, wouldn't have mattered anyway. Haunting Scream, the draw for Old Rich, but... Old Rich going to fire in, not even going to cast that, and that's going to be a 2-0 victory. So congrats, Old Rich, going to 3-0 with that, that deck. That is awesome. Pretty well. Pretty nice job. They're doing great. That is, that's fantastic. All right. Like, we already have some other winners. We have Croge, John Kekes, and Martin winning on the background. Let's go check out a 2-61 versus Pi Reese are still going. Uh, well, they're not in game right now, so we're not going to do that. So let's see Apple Chips versus Jez2718 because they're in game. Bling against Kuru. Kira. Yeah. Apple Chips versus Jez2718. So let's check this one out. It looks like we got Huru Kira, Apple Chips versus Sling at the top. Well, Apple Chips is not empty handed. Jez2718 is up a game and is looking to end it right here. Yeah. I think that's just it. Apple Chips is not going to survive this turn. Yep, Jez2718 is going to take this one in. Over Huru Kira and Apple Chip's gonna drop to two one 